there were some people from Chicago, and their only experience with, with Jews in the ghetto up there had been with landlords and shopkeepers. And so they had some very negative things about Jews, which they chose, they took the opportunity of this, you know, summer of 64 to dump on me, since I was the only Jew in this particular Freedom House. And being as young as I was, I just didn't know how to handle it. It was very hard. And I think they took glee in being able to make it difficult for someone. But my good luck was that there were some people, some black people, who understood very well what was happening, and they helped me through it. And actually, I'm ever grateful to them, because after that, nobody can ever dump anything on me that way. I just, I mean, I've had occasion to speak up and speak out and confront stuff, but nothing. I mean, I learned inside and outside how to deal with it, so they gave me a tremendous gift because I, you know, I learned, I learned what to do with that and how to deal with it and actually how to maybe even make something positive out of it when it was coming my way, and I don't mean just for me. So it was, I mean, actually, I probably got more out of that experience than any of the blacks did. You know, just in terms of growing and learning, and be and Jewish. You know, my Jewish identity was part of it. it sounds strange, I know, but it's true. Yeah. How, so how did how did your Jewish identity change? How did my what Jewish identity uh-huh. change being down there? Hmm. I learned. I think I learned how to express how to express it. Because as I said, my, my identity and my life had been different than a lot of people. But I learned, um, I think I accepted it in a more deep way. I mean, I came to truly internally embrace it. And then um, and I learned how to articulate what I felt, what I thought, you know, and be who I was. And I learned to separate myself from negative stuff that came at me in the form of anti-Semitism, because that's not me. That's not my people. That's not what we did. It's not what we do. And so if somebody tries to paint me with that brush, it doesn't touch me because that's not us, you know? And so I can deal with it from that point of view. It's, I guess, if that, if, I don't know if I'm communicating it, but that's what happened before that experience. I couldn't do that. It, the, the makings of that were in me, but I did not know how to deal with it, how to say it, how to confront it, how to accept it, and how to uh, separate myself from it. 